I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mathe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and NAR goons. And Matvey thinks it's a prison? Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mom? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. And Mathe is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. Man, a boy. Now go bring me back some good news. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. You copy? Leave it Charlie, Bluebird. We'll get to the target ASAP. Over and out. Posing as the enemy. You're playing a dangerous game, Olivier. I know what I'm doing. I've learned their code names and routines. Knowing your enemy is essential. Clever. We need to get the upper hand over NAR whenever we can. Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this radio works perfectly with NAR encryption. I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to locate some old KGB documents. Could be related to what you're looking for. Sounds like a long shot. But it must be important if they're sending a squad, right? My thoughts exactly. Also, it looks like there's an old Soviet installation beneath the Emerald Resort. I know the place. Young pioneers used to have their summer camps there and play games. Yeah, and the KGB was playing a different sort of game just beneath them. Underground. I'll check it out. Anything that might get me info on Tachanda is worth a try. Just, uh, keep your feet on the ground, okay? Good luck, Igor. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? I just arrived in Red Forest. Great. Keep your eyes open and you should spot it. On my way.
Don't get hurt, motherfucker. Is that all you've got? My babushka slapped harder than you. I wonder what's for dinner. Real tough guy. Uh, Thanks. I guess... I never expected a stalker to come to my aid. What was this all about? Instead of helping these butchers round up civilians and shoot them, I ran. I couldn't leave the zone because of the perimeter, so... I started a little trading operation to get by. Well, it didn't take long before my old NAR squad mates found me. Grisha, he... We used to be friends. We were close. But he couldn't forgive me for abandoning them. I think he was especially bitter about it because he was ashamed. I left, and he stayed. And did what he did. I killed our friendship, so Grisha volunteered to kill me.
you supposed to top it off? That's your job. It's your fucking fault. Oh, really? You're such a good driver, are you, huh? Good. Then for fuck's sake, drive here and pick me up. Olga, I found the entrance. Watch out for guards. They're probably close by. Of course. Where else would they be?
Olga, I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. Oh, wait, shouldn't you check the cell before you open it? Hey, little guy. What are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Whoa, easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich, and... This black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle, and they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. They kidnapped you? When I woke up, I was in here. But I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now. So uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. I want to help you, Gleb, but I need to ask you something first, okay? Okay, okay, but hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his chest pocket. Really smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men, did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you chino uh, green crystals? No, never. <sighs> Curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collata... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here, and he's coming to visit soon. But I bet they're liars. Poor boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. All right. Time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Igor, look. If you think things through, you'll realize the light is safer right where he is than out in the zone. What does this thing do? What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? The kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? It's not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they gonna do with him anyway? Why can't you just, I don't know, open that portal of yours and send him to your base? I thought about it. But it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. I hate to do this, but Olga's right. I can't risk the boy's safety. Gleb needs to stay here for the time being. He's got food and everything else he needs. You're making the right call. We'll take care of Gleb later. When it's safe, I promise.
How weird was that, huh? Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Matvey, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. It was the right decision to leave Gleb in the bunker. Trust me. Ask Matvey to send somebody over there to check on him. We'll come up with a plan for our little stalker in the meantime. <laughs> 